black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing down a dead fire at Reality Temple. Reality Temple. My black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing down a dead fire at Reality Temple. So just hours before the president landed, President Putin slammed U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry over his testimony on the civil war in Syria. The Russian strongman calling Kerry a liar. Watch this. I've watched debates in Congress. A congressman asked Mr. Kerry, is there al-Qaeda? People say they've gotten stronger. He says, no. I say officially, they aren't there. The main combat unit, the so-called al-Nursa, is a unit of al-Qaeda. They know about this. It was not pleasant for me to see this. Well, we communicate with them and assume that they are decent people. He lies openly and he knows that he lies. This is sad. Wow. Chief White House correspondent Ed Henry North Lawn there starts our coverage. Ed, good morning to you. You wonder how good comfortable morning. or not it will be for the president today. Is the White House reacting to Putin's accusation that we just heard there? They are. What Putin is trying to do is suggest, you know, raise doubts about whether the Assad regime, which he's close to, uh, really was behind that awful chemical weapons attack on August 21st. And he's raising doubts uh, about Al Qaeda elements in the in the rebel groups, and maybe the rebels actually uh, would be behind that chemical weapons attack. The White House is responding this morning by saying, "Look, uh, they believe there are moderate elements of the rebel, the Syrian rebels, the Syrian Free Army, etc., uh, and they think Putin is just flat out wrong here." So you're right; it's going to get awkward. Think back to June. Uh, president's already arrived there in Russia now. He's going to meet him on the sidelines, Putin. Uh, back in June, we're at the G8 summit uh, in, in Europe. Uh, bottom line is Putin spent more time looking at his shoes uh, than at President Obama, it seemed, from some of the photos, at least, in the body language. Uh, they're fighting not just about Syria, about the Edward Snowden controversy. Uh, and all of this is playing out as the president's on the world stage. And you have Republicans like the former Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld charging that with the president yesterday at this news conference in Sweden, saying it wasn't his red line, it's not his credibility on the line, that he now looks weak. Take a listen. This president has... Welcome to America is a well-known slogan throughout the whole entire region of the world. But it's something we have to talk about that a lot of Americans don't want to talk about. And that is the manipulation of this so-called great country that we live in. America has manipulated countries, manipulated people, and even manipulated the images of other countries. They go to other countries and they play these political games. They turn people against each other. They walk into these countries as the drum of peace, knowing that they're really there to cause a big, old, destructional system. Watch America, how they have strategically done this to a lot of countries. Every time America touches a country, it is no longer the same. Hell, every time America touches the people, they're never the same. See, America is made up of great manipulators, psychologists, people that sit down and spend a whole day plotting on how they're going to psychologically brain screw anyone they can get their hands on to better their agenda. And this is the history of America since the day they landed on Plymouth Rock. This has been the whole dynamic psychological thinking of this country. And a lot of people don't want to admit it. They don't want to admit to the manipulation. They want to admit that a lot of countries want to attack us because of the wrong things that we have done to other countries. 
They say, why did those people run into those Twin Towers? Why did they attack us? But see, there's a lot of hidden secrets about America that you don't know. A lot of things that they may have done under the rug that we're not aware of. So we as a people only get our information over the news. So we only know what the news tell us or what they allow us to know. And this is what a lot of Americans don't seem to understand. They don't always get the full picture. So you're standing there saying, hey, why did they attack us? Not really knowing the true story or the full extent of the story. And this is what we go through every day in America. The manipulation is in the system. The manipulation is in the law. How they manipulate the law to give African Americans more time. When it comes to certain laws, these laws are the same as any other laws. But it seems to be the particular crimes that black people are known to do, because everybody do crime. Everybody has a particular crime that they do, majority of the time. And they know that every time the particular crimes that we make seem to carry longer sentences, like selling crack cocaine. What's the difference between selling crack cocaine and selling cocaine? It's the same thing. We all know the only difference between crack is that it's been thrown through a process. But it still gives you 10 to 15 years more than somebody else that's most likely to be Hispanic or white or Caucasian to most definitely most of the time they get caught with cocaine. Because we know that cocaine is the drug that they prefer. So why is it that the Cocaine that they have, which is powder, carries less time than crack cocaine. It's all the same thing. It all comes from Colombia off a of cocoa leaf. So this is what we're talking about. This is how America manipulates people. And the Caucasian of Americans that are here understand, I ain't got nothing against white people per se. But you are so naive. You don't get it. You don't want to admit to the manipulation of America. You don't want to admit that America start trouble sometimes. Sometimes they go into these other countries and they make things worse. We don't want to admit that as an American. That sometimes this country starts trouble. And this country is a manipulating country. Look what they did when the British went to Africa. They went in there and turned all these different African kings against each other, worked their way in, and next thing you know, they had the apartheid for, I don't know, it was about uh, close to 100 years. I got to go do my studies on that, the time and the, you know, the extensions of time that they had in apartheid, which is South Africa. Look how they walk in and they manipulate people, they turn people against each other, and look what happens. And these people have been doing this for years. But see, the people in America are so naive and they don't see it. They think we're in this great country. But this country loves to walk into other countries screaming peace. We're here to bring peace. But what do they really bring? When they bring this so-called peace, then why is there more killings after America comes into a country? Or after they exit out of a country? That country is ten times worse off than it was before. So how could a country be worse after the the ministers of peace come and after they leave is ten times worse. People are getting bombed and killed like never before. So how could you walk into a country screaming peace but things get worse? People don't look at the underlying scenarios. You don't walk into a country saying we come as peacemakers and next thing you know you come in and start manipulating people turning people against each other and when you leave that country is it is in it is in a 10 times worse state than it was when you first got in there this is a reality that we all have to see and we all have to admit to as Americans America ain't as good as you think it is or it leads you to believe manipulation is one of the greatest tools that America have and they use it better than anybody and this right here is something that we have to admit to this is the reason why we have countries that dislike us you think that want to bomb us for no reason they just woke up one morning saying we just want to bomb America do you honestly think that we have to go deeper into your mind and really think about what is America really doing they come in in the hands of peace see that's how 
majority of manipulation is done. A person comes in with a smile shaking your hand, but what is America's intentions when they deal with people? How did they deal with the Indians? They came in screaming peace. They shook their hands, and look what happened to them. So what is it really about? We have to admit to the makeup of America. America is a manipulating country. And it's been founded on manipulation, and that's all they do is manipulate. They hide behind this beautiful image of a good country. But see, we get mad at other countries because they see what America really is. They see America behind the clothing, and they see the nakedness, and they see the wolf inside the clothing. And we get upset, and I see a lot of Americans get mad at other countries, you know, especially the Middle East, because we think they're the enemies. We've been led to believe that they're the enemies. When they come bomb us, is it right? No, I don't condone them coming bombing innocent people, but we have to look beyond the scenario. Are we really as, as innocent as we claim to be? Is America really as innocent as they claim to be? That's what we got to look. We got to look beyond that. And far as I know, America been manipulating and they hate african-american people i'm gonna tell you why they hate black people because we see them for what they are majority of other nationalities they fall into this so-called we believe that america is these good people see if you look at it we're the only culture that says no we know them because we dealt with them. We dealt with America. We know what America truly is about. These other cultures don't because they didn't go through what we went through. They didn't have the American experience that we have. And this is the reason why they don't know about America like we do. So they're blind because they don't see it. If they went through what we went through, if Chinese and Asians and, and different nationalities that's other than white experience what we experienced with America, they would have a total different outlook, but they didn't. So they are naive. They don't understand what we went through. And we don't, they don't know that we see America for who they truly are. And that's the reason why they hate us, because we can see who they are. These other nationalities don't. And that's what America's about. It is the great center of manipulation. They manipulate people through the media. They manipulate people through the laws. They manipulate people through any way they can do, through religion, everything. This is how they manipulate people. And they make people believe anything they feel they want them to believe. Because the only news you get people is, what, is the news that they show you. So we don't really know what we done done to those people over there in the Middle East. We don't know because they're not going to tell us. That's what it's called top secret, right? We are top secret. Well, we can't tell you that because that's top secret. Oh, well, what about this situation over in Libya? Well, we can't tell you about that because that's top secret. Well, what about what you guys did over here, you know what I'm saying, in North Korea and, and this? What will, Because it's top secret. I'm sorry we can't let you know, but that is top secret. Okay, what is all these secrets about? Maybe these secrets hold the mystery of the reason why these countries want to come over and bomb us half the time. That's why I don't always think America is good as they say they are. I think America be going over here picking half of these fights and starting half of these wars if you really ask me. And this is what I wanted to speak about. Look beyond what you see on TV. Look beyond what you see as the image of America. Go do some back history and check about the country you live in. And maybe you'll come out with a different conclusion and perspective of who America really is. Peace. One. Like that the king, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality simple. 